Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. This is our 15th annual Women's Expo. We have 84 vendors, the most that we've ever had. It's not only this day, the Miller team works with the women entrepreneurs throughout the year. We have different workshops, we try to stay in contact with them. So our goal is to help them grow their business, they network amongst each other. And I think the support that they get is something that they don't get at other shows. We help the women from the moment they apply till forever. We don't stop helping them. And, and that can be for a very new business. They might not know how they should set their table up. Or they might be concerned about how much product they should bring. How much should I price my, my product at? It's all about networking and it's all about a community. So we have a lot of Expo vendors who then end up working together. So one of the women who sells tea is speaking with the woman who makes pottery and they're going to try to put some sort of package together to highlight both of their products. So that's just an example of what we're hoping they do. What we see here is actually the lifeblood of Suffolk County, small business. It's actually what Suffolk County is about. We don't have the, the, the larger corporations here, but we depend upon sales tax, which is generated by the people who we see here inside. Women-owned businesses is one of the fastest growing segments of small business startups. It's an opportunity for them to show what they've started and created. It's an opportunity for the community to come out and see what's available in their local economy as well. At this event, they're expecting a few thousand people to attend. So I think it's, a, a, a bit, it's going to be a big success and it's going to be a big contributor to the community as well. This is really great. I have, this is our first time with the Women's Expo, and it's really exciting to see other women that are managing families and careers and, and juggling and doing all that kind of thing. We support women with our business as well because we work with fair trade, equitably sourced. Um, we work with um, women's organizations in India through a wonderful company that brings in our fair trade silk sari yarns and ribbons that we've incorporated into so many of our different pieces. So anytime we can pay it forward with something that's recycled, reclaimed, women's groups, um, no child labor, no exploitation, all good things, and bring it out and push it back out. Sharon and I came together just over a year ago. Um, we'd gone through some pretty difficult life changes, both of us, um, and we were introduced by a healer so we knew our energies kind of aligned we've both been through some struggles and we decided to join our forces pull together and try to make what was reflecting in our hearts the sun dazzles are our newest line and it's really just been like this burst we just went crazy with them and they have gone crazy so anytime you have the light passing through the the crystals you're dispersing it you're dispersing the energy and hopefully filtering out any negatives as well and it's fun to have a rainbow day in your house where the light spins around and dances to be with all these people today. You, you meet new people, you, you get together with old friends and, and people that you know, and it's a wonderful venue for all of us. I love the way the paint feels on the glass. It's a very smooth feeling, so it's, it, it, it feels good as you're doing it. And I love flowers and the birds and the garden, and that's my inspiration. It's a special paint for glass. It's um, enamel acrylic, and all the glassware gets baked in the oven, and you heat it up to 350. You bake it for 30 minutes and then it cools down in the oven. And it won't come off unless you use a scouring pad. They're very usable, you just can't put them in the dishwasher. Okay. Everything is hand washed, yes. Our application process starts in May. And we actually have a planning committee and a selection committee, so not everybody who applies gets in. We're really looking for people who need the nurture, nurturing and the support. Yeah, we're not just looking for people who are happy in the status quo. We're looking for women businesses and they're looking to take their business to the next level, to expand it a little, to meet new people and really maybe start to partner. So we have a lot of Expo vendors who then end up working together. 